up everybody, the big corned beef here. So I'm thinking this week we might do some buffalo chicken quesadillas again. <laughs> yeah, right. Big corned beef don't do repeats. Two jars of Ooh, I'm gonna get two jars. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Get a marinade with that, baby. Get a dig. Hopefully, oh. we get some people to watch and buy some stuff. Hey, thanks. Maybe some beef. We might even make some burgers with that. Some roasted garlic. We got some original. <laughs> We're gonna party. Corn beef don't do repeats. We got some sauces from the Sunflower Festival. I'm gonna let you guys check it out. We took a couple little clips. All right, I'm gonna show you how to marinate that chicken this week. We're gonna grill it up with some real nice sauce. Uh, we got Al smoking barbecue sauce. All right, don't pull your pork. Without it, you know what I mean? We got a whole bunch of different flavors. We're gonna try some of them out. All right, we're gonna have myself and Mrs. Big Corn Beef try out the flavors on the chicken. We'll give a little bit of review. We're gonna post them up right in our, uh, right in our video. Make sure you check out their site, especially if you're in the Hudson Valley area. They are in some of the local shops, especially Adams Ferry Acre Farms. Enjoy. All right, so we started our marinade. All right, we get the original. Big Al smoking barbecue sauce. And over here, we're rocking that roasted garlic. Guys, make sure if you get a chance, check them out. It's their website right here. Their gluten free product. Buy Al smoking barbecue sauce.com. I'm going to bring you some cooking outside. So we have the chicken on marinade inside. I'll show you how I rip up some burgers. We're going to use that beautiful sauce. I'm going to try that bacon. That Al smoking barbecue. Oh, we do the bacon flavor, all right? And on top of the bacon flavor, hey guys, don't forget, check them out. Check out that website, <laughs> all right? Check them out, especially if you're in the Hudson Valley, New York area. They're over at Adams Fair Acre Farms. These saucers are dynamite, bro. I'm telling you, I don't want a lot of people. All right, let's start this off the right way. We know how to do it, you know? Yeah. All right, so I got the spread, cutting board. You'll see why we need a cutting board in a minute. The mixing bowl, bread crumbs, one egg, the sauce for flavor. <laughs> we already talked about it. All right, I don't know if you like to make cheeseburgers. If you do, add some cheese. I'm not here to fix your problems. All right, I'm not gonna show you how I grill. I'm not here to teach you how to grill. Right, but what I will say is when you're ready to make these burgers, this is how you make them homemade, all right? You peel that back, you break off some meat, throw it in the bowl, all right? Where else are you going to put it? All right, you throw that down on the bowl, and mash it up a little bit, and bang, bang, boom. All right, you should always have a napkin nearby. I got one nearby. I'm going to show you. I don't want to tell you, but have a napkin nearby. When you're done, your hands are going to be all dirty. You don't want to touch the door or the grill with dirty hands. All right, the first thing I do... I crack that egg. Boom. One hand. You can't do it with one hand. Don't crack eggs. All right? Loser. Let's do this. Bang. One. Egg. Crack. We mush it in. All right? Now, if you're smart, you had everything open beforehand. Okay? If you're not smart, I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm not going to touch the breadcrumb container with the dirty hand. So you learn how to use one hand. All right, we pop that open. We shake some of them breadcrumbs. Guys, if you don't have eggs or breadcrumbs, or, you know, go to the grocery store. They got them there. They're real cheap, all right? Jeez. All right. Now, last but not least, boom. Use my napkin real quick. Got my sauce over here. Oh, bam! Shoot, do do towel. Boom! All right. A little towel. Yeah. Now, you pour that sauce in, bro. Don't, don't be chintzy. All right. Let that stuff soak it in. All right. It'll cook in the burger. All right. Get that in there. Mix that flavor in. I want to taste it. That's why I put it in there. 
All right? Now, I'm gonna show you why we use a cutting board. It's real simple. When you're man, you make them burgers, all right? What are you gonna do, smack them down on the table? You wanna shape them. All right, I'm gonna show you how to shape a burger. You grab the amount of meat you want in one burger, all right? I like my burgers to like represent something that you never had before. All right, this ain't McDonald's, all right? We make a big burger like a meatball and then bang, all right? We break it in, we shape, all right? We then we shape, flip it over, boom, make sure that side's shaped, no cracks. The eggs and the, and the crumbs, keep it from cracking. Look at how thick that is. You're gonna eat that bird, you're never gonna wanna leave my house. Now, I got an odd amount, five burgers. Look at them bad boys, all right? The rest of this goes back in the fridge. I'm not cooking it now. All right. So, I'm gonna get this on the grill. When it's done cooking, I'll show you the results. <laughs> it's game time, big, big corned beef. All right, so big corned beef's done grilling. I got corned beef junior, give me that fist of approval. He's checking out my meats, all right? I'm gonna show you how these get plated. All right, I'm gonna show you how this meat turned out. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You know tell him, tell him, tell him. Original roasted garlic. Oh, dude, look at how, ju look at how juicy I make them. Look at how thick that is, bro. Get that bacon. Get it plated. One. All right, we got the original on the left, roasted garlic on the right. Original on the left, roasted garlic on the right, and look at that glaze, baby. Oh, man. That grilled mess, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Big corn beef, baby.